Hello, this is Pastor Femi Akujeno. I wanted to take a moment to share a word of encouragement with you during this time of the coronavirus pandemic. As many of you know, uh, there's been shutdowns, not just in states across America, but all over the world. And alongside that is the fear that has gripped the heart of many. There are those who are afraid to die, maybe because they are sick of that virus. And there are those who are afraid to catch the virus. And then also there are those who are concerned about how they're going to pay their bills. That is just fear, anxiety, and worry all over the place. But I want to take a moment to remind you the word of God. In the book of Psalm 91, in verse 7, God's word makes something clear to us that should help you to calm down during this time of this pandemic. The word of God says that a thousand shall fall by thy side, 10,000 at thy right side, but it shall not come near you. That is God's word to you. If you are not a sign of my voice and you know Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, I want you to be encouraged because that's God's word for you. That although people may be falling dead around you, although this pandemic may be causing people to, to go down around you, but for you, it will not come near you. If you're already sick of the coronavirus, I want you to know this. You can hold on to this promise that this virus will not kill you. That if you are sick right now, you are coming out of it alive. Yes, you are going to beat it in the name of Jesus Christ. You will breathe, your breathing will open up. Whatever symptoms you are going through right now, they will dissipate and disappear, and you will be just fine in the name of Jesus. But maybe you are not sick of the virus. Guess what? There is no need for you to walk around in fear because God's word and God's promise to you is that a thousand shall fall by thy side, 10,000 by thy right side, but it will not come near you. And so you can hold on to that scripture Hold on to, the God's, to God's promise and believe God that you will be spared of this evil virus. I want to remind you that the Bible says we have not been given the spirit of fear, but we have been given love, we have been given power, and we have been given sound mind. And people of God, if you will just focus on the word of God, not in what you are hearing in the news, because, you know, when you hear what's going on in the news, how many people are catching the virus? How many deaths is taking place? And just what you hear over and over and over in the news media, there is a tendency to become afraid. But the Word of God says something. It says that we walk by faith and not by sight. And I want to encourage you not to put aside your faith. Put your faith in God. Remember that our God is a faithful God. Remember that he has never changed and he will never lie. Remember that whatever he has promised us, he is able and is willing to keep his promises. And if he says that it will not come near you, hold on to that scripture. Hold on to the word of God. And as you do so, you are able to calm down. The Bible says something. It says you will keep them in perfect peace. That is, God will keep them in perfect peace whose mind has stayed on him. I want to encourage you at this time of pandemic, let your mind, let your mind's focus be on the word of God. Let it be on God himself. Don't focus on what the news is saying. Because if you focus on all the negative, negative, negative stories, and then you also have people who are sharing their own, you know, uh, uh, um, theory out there, just, you know, conspiracy theories that they are just sharing out there. If you focus on all of those, the tendency is for you to become so afraid. I know people whose blood pressure has gone up because they are focusing on all these things. But this is not the time for that. This is the time for you, for your mind to be stayed on the word of God, to focus, to, to narrow on the word of God, to meditate on the word of God. And as you do so, guess what? The peace of God will fill your heart. I want to remind you the word of God says, fear not for I am with you. That is God's word in Isaiah 41 verse 10. God said, fear not for I am with you. I want to remind you the reason why we are not fearing, regardless of what we see in the news media, is because God is with us. Fear not for I am with you. Do not be dismayed for I am your God. He says, I will strengthen you and I will help you. 
oh, maybe you have lost your job in the midst of this pandemic. God says, I will help you. I will strengthen you. I will help you. No matter the situation that you are faced with right now, I want you to focus on what God's promise is, is for you. He says, I will strengthen you and I will help you. And I want to encourage you with that. Because if you are not careful, you look at what's going on all around and you begin to panic. The Bible says God has not given us the spirit of fear. And so if you notice fear coming to and gripping your heart. Tell that fear, you are not permitted here. Get out of my life. Get out of my, the life of my family. Get out of the life of my children in the name of Jesus Christ. Fear is not your portion, right? Love, sound mind, and power is your portion. And you know, we need sound mind right now. A mind that is full of peace, the peace of God that surpasses all understanding, the joy of God, that is our strength. That is what we need at a time like this. The key is focusing on the word of God, remembering what's uh, God has promised you, and that is, thousand shall fall at thy side, ten thousand at the right side, it will not come near you. Trust God, believe God, that you will be exempt from whatever calamity is happening in our world today. Again, this is God's word for you. Hold on to God's word, and you will be at peace. This is Pastor Femi Akujeno. Thank you for watching.